an open culture where people could talk about things, where people could share how they felt. So for example, a good example in, well, in my department is debriefs. So if we have any event which has not resulted in a desired outcome, we would often, at a later date, try and get together and talk about it. One of the most exciting times of my life was uh, as a general practitioner um, where we worked as a team uh, and it wasn't a traditional team. We did have the traditional team with the health visitor, social work and so on. But actually working with the two local headmasters, working with playgroup leader, uh, working with local police uh, and it was really exciting uh, as to what we could do for the community to improve their health. Good collaboration in my view, needs to be based on an important central strategic goal of some sort. For me, for example, patient-centeredness is an important goal. And if we can get the culture of a particular organisation right, then that goes a long way towards making things happen in the right sort of way. We need to lead from the front, so the senior members of the profession need to be really open about the way that they behave. Um, and not to be frightened um, if they have done something which they're not terribly proud of is to talk about it, talk about how it happened, why it happened and what they would do differently if they were given their chance again. With the complexity of cases, with dementia patients, with elderly patients with multiple comorbidity who they cannot make the decision, the many people get involved. The family may want us to do everything but it may not be in the best interest of patients. So my simple advice to doctors is talk to someone, talk to your senior, because there is everywhere, in each and every hospital, there is somebody to help you, somebody to guide you. What is wrong is making the decision on your own. Most doctors do show compassion and caring. But for some doctors, when the work is busy, when too many patients, they are stressed, they are under difficulty, what we got to do is support them so that they can provide the best care. I always say NHS must care for the staff so that they can care for their patients. In Wigan, happy staff, happy patient is our motto and that is what has transformed our trust.